Hey guys, Kings Island Fanboy here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be talking about the new 2023 edition that Kings Island will be adding. There's a lot to talk about in this video, so let's get right into it. For 2023, Kings Island will be revamping Oktoberfest into a completely new area called Adventureport. This new area will sit between Coney Mall, International Street, and Action Zone. This area is taking on the theme of an ancient civilization where guests take on the role of adventurers exploring the remains. This new area will be featuring a revamp of Hank's Mexican Grill into Enrique's. This new restaurant will feature some new food offerings that correlate with the themed area. On the back of Hank's Mexican Grill is the beer garden. This area will be revamped into the Mercado. You can still buy alcoholic beverages here. Adventure Express will be getting some new theming elements, some updated theming elements, and overall a nice refurbishment. The entrance will be moved and will obtain a new entrance area. Along with this new area is two new rides. The first of these new rides will be Cargo Loco. This is a Zamperla teacups. But instead of riding in teacups, you will be riding in barrels. The description for this new ride states, Need a company to ship your goods? Look no further than Aero Cargo Company. Their methods might be a little dizzying, but they'll get your freight from point A to point B, eventually. Check out the shipping barrels for yourself and get ready for a trip of your life. This is a nice new family ride for the park. The park has been looking for some new flat rides, so this is a great fit for that. This ride also seems like a throwback to a past ride called Dur Spinning Keggers. This ride was in Oktoberfest and it is extremely similar to the new ride that they'll be getting. The second flat ride in this area is Soul Spin. This is a Zamperla Endeavor. This ride is very similar to an Enterprise, but instead of riding in the cage, you are seated freely. This new ride also seems to be a throwback to a previous ride, Skylab. This was an Enterprise, and these rides are very similar. So now we've gone over everything new in this area, let's go over what I think about it. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the theme of this area, and I'd much rather see an update of Oktoberfest, but other than that, I am a huge fan. I'm very happy that Kings Island is investing in some family rides in these two new flats. We need some more flat rides in the park after Paramount removed a lot of the original ones. So these flat rides are a welcome addition to the park. And I'm very excited to see some attention being brought to Adventure Express. We've seen the park try to upgrade and fix some of the effects the ride currently has. So adding more to it and making the ride better is amazing. This shows that the park is not looking to get rid of Adventure Express and wants to keep this classic around at least a little bit longer. Well, that's all for this video. I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you like this new area? What do you think of the flat rides? What do you think of the theme? All of that. I want to hear all that down in the comments below. Well, again, that's all for this video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! So yeah, this new area is going to be pretty cool. I like the new flats. Two new flats in one year. That's pretty good. Last time we saw that was the Planet Snoopy editions with Woodstock gliders and Snoopy space buggies. So awesome to see we're getting two new flat rides next year. The new area, I'm glad they're putting some attention into this area. It's a kind of a transfer point where it needed some attention. I do wish they just continued the Oktoberfest theme, though. So they'll probably be integrating Fest House as a part of International Street. Uh, okay, bye.